New life for old records. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. We've got that story about the great, awesome 78 project plus new wildlife crossings that are reducing collisions. But first, we've been talking a bunch on the morning show about some of the gnarly police actions going on in Charm City, a.k.a. Baltimore. But here on some of the ways that we are winning in the 63rd episode of Good News next week, let's look at hopefully some good news, maybe some not unmitigated good news. A new policy change in Baltimore, which could set a revolutionary precedent, will finally have guilty officers feeling the pain in their pockets for once. In a memo sent out by police union president Gene Ryan, Baltimore city officers were warned about hate, how they could be charged with punitive, that means monetary, damages if a jury finds Finds that they have acted with malice during an attack on a citizen. It's not bad enough that there's a police attack on a citizen, it's that they've acted with malice in a police attack on a citizen. As many as nine Baltimore officers could have to pay tens of thousands of dollars in damages after juries found that they acted with actual malice in the course of making arrests. You can get some more of the gritty details straight out of HBO's The Wire. That's why there's a show about Baltimore's police force on some of our recent morning shows. However, our cover story this week actually makes me happy. Kansas State Libraries donate nearly 8,000 sides to the Great 78 Project. Two collections at Kansas State Libraries 78 RPM discs will soon join the pool of a massive digital archive at the place you should know and love, archive.org, and one of their numerous offshoots and extra projects, the Great 78 Project. Kelly Rylance, head of Kansas State's Morris Department of Special Collections, said the project is at its heart a preservation initiative. For many of these 78s, the original mother recordings, the master, long gone. Maybe they're at the bottom of some river. The Great 78 Project will put these historical sound recordings back in the public realm for musicologists to study, for musicians to generate new sounds, for enthusiasts to enjoy, and for record producers to develop digital masters. Faculty in Kansas State Library Special Collections Department knew about the Great 78 Project before getting involved. Students have joined the faculty in preparing the nearly 8,000 sides of audio for shipment to George Blood, which is actually an AV digitization company over in Philly. So that's 8,000 sides that are going to be added to what I see now as being 78,313 pieces of public domain goodness. And we'll include more links on that great78.archive.org. As again, remember everything we say and play will always be included in the show notes. Our last story this week on Good News Next Week, episode 63, is a two of every story creatures with first. Animals are using Colorado's new wildlife crossings, reducing collisions and aiding breeding. Wildlife bridges and underpasses. I was going to say, actually, I got this story from my amazing wife. She's on the tweets at Cassie Cohn. Wildlife bridges and underpasses led to a dramatic decline in animal-related car crashes, according to biologists at the Colorado Department of Transportation. The five underpasses and two overpasses that cross Colorado 9 south of Kremlin have reduced wildlife-related crashes by 90%. An underpass crossing U.S. Highway 160 between Durango and Bayfield, Colorado, was completed in the fall of 2016 by Colorado Department of Transportation. Coyote, or rather, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> coyotes were taking pictures. <laughs> Photographs taken with a remote camera at the underpass show that the passageway is now being used by deer, coyotes, raccoons, and other small animals. So a bit of good news there, and they also note that they're not just sort of pushing a problem out of the way. It's actually just sort of working in concert. Hashtag my roads, maybe <laughs> my underpasses. The other bit of animal stories that we'll put on the arc as we wrap up this Good News Next Week episode. Two bears burned in California wildlife spotted in the wild. Officials tracking two bears that were badly burned in the largest wildfire in California history with origins they say are still under investigation. They say the animals are settling back into their home and wildlife after receiving unusual treatment for their injured paws. And you can see pictures of those. And again, everything else that we say and play will be all in the show notes here for episode 63 of Good News Next Week, as I like to say some of the ways that we are winning in solutions-oriented stories. So I want to invite you over to the growing Media Monarchy community. 
and it's basically all on a place called Discord. D-I-S-C-O-R-D. It's essentially a place where video gamers are kind of hanging out together and sort of sharing games and talking and chatting and working on games together. But you can use it for just about anything. So I'm using it essentially to host the Media Monarchy Kingdom. I've got my whole little membership community there set up where you can listen, where you can stream, where you can chat, where you can talk about all the topics in the Media Monarchy Kingdom. And again, it's all brought to you by you. It's fun to build it over in Discord, and you can find your way into that through MediaMonarchy.com slash support. Our support, our donors, our patrons, our friends. That's what keeps us going. 12 plus years, you've never heard an ad, never heard a snake oil pitch. You've never heard us wildly change our plans and ideas and schemes every four or eight years when some new puppet president comes along. We are true blue, my friends, and I think the proof is in our pudding. And I hope you think our pudding is delicious. That's a, maybe a food world order note. I'm James Evan Pilato here again for Good News Next Week. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our work and reminding you, as always, like Jello Biafra of the Dead Kennedy said, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.